The Teams at FarmMax and Cash Manager Rural now offer a feature that allows you to export actual stock sales and purchase transactions from Cash Manager Rural and import them into your FarmMax Pro or Farm Tools file. This tutorial will show you how to ensure the transactional information in Cash Manager Rural is correct, export this information out of your Cash Manager database and import and map this information into your FarmMax file. In order to use this facility, you will need to make sure you are running Cash Manager Rural version 6.2 or later and FarmMax version 6.5.0.03 or later. In the first part of this tutorial, we will cover the key pieces of information we recommend you put into your stock transactions in your Cash Manager Rural database. When entering sale or purchase transactions into Cash Manager, it is important to ensure you enter as much information as possible, remembering information such as the sale or purchase date and stock numbers will be transferred into your FarmMax file. We recommend you enter the average live weight for store animals and the average carcass weight for works animals as this will also be moved into your FarmMax file. And you should also code these transactions to an extended code level. If an extended code hasn't been applied to the transaction, it won't be imported into your FarmMax file. And entering a clear description of the stock involved will help you to easily identify and allocate each transaction to the correct mob in FarmMax. If you use the Enterprise feature in Cash Manager, continue to allocate stock transactions to the relevant enterprises. Once you are happy with the information entered for your stock transactions, you can export the transaction information out of your Cash Manager Rural database. Make sure you have opened the correct database and click on Tools, scroll down to FarmMax Export and select the month or months you want to import into FarmMax. We recommend that you start exporting the stock transactions on a month by month basis so that if there are any mistakes that need to be corrected you will only need to focus on a small amount of data. Once you have selected the date range you want to export, the file name will appear with the month start and month end. This will make it easier for you to locate the correct file in FarmMax. The file will be saved to a default folder in Documents and when the file is imported into FarmMax it is automatically retrieved from the same location. You are now ready to import the stock transactions into your FarmMax file. In the second part of this tutorial we will cover how to import the transactions into your FarmMax file, how to allocate these transactions to the correct enterprises and mobs and how to make any corrections if needed. To import the stock transactions, make sure you have first opened the correct FarmMax file. Click on Tools at the top of the screen and scroll down to Import from Cash Manager Rural. Locate the correct file and select Open. You are now in the screen where you will allocate these actual transactions to mobs in your file. Each transaction displays important information from your Cash Manager database, such as the sale or purchase date, the category code and extended code as it appears in Cash Manager, whether the transaction was a sale or purchase, and the number of stock and the average weight in each transaction. The information in the Other Party and Note fields should be as clear as possible as this information will help you to allocate your transactions to the correct FarmMax mob. The Status field will indicate whether this transaction has already been brought into the file and all transactions that have been imported for previous months will sit at the bottom of the screen. To map your month of stock transactions to the correct mob, click on the drop down arrow next to Select Mob. Choose the mob that this transaction belongs to. If there are a number of transactions with the same extended code as recorded in Cash Manager, FarmMax will apply the same matching to all other transactions with the same extended code. So if you have the same stock class in different enterprises, you may need to change the mob allocation. However, the majority of transactions should be automatically coded when you bring in next month's information. The first time you go through the wizard, you will need to assign each transaction to a FarmMax mob. However, next month when you run the import, FarmMax will automatically remember the matching you did last month. 
You can change the FarmMax mob for specific transactions if the matching is not correct. Each transaction needs to be allocated to a FarmMax mob before you can bring the information into your file. Once the information has been mapped, click on the Next button. Transactions that have come from Cash Manager now appear on the left side of the screen as actual events and will be added to the FarmMax file. While the FarmMax planned events that fall within the same period as the Cash Manager events will be deleted from the file. However, if you think a planned event will still happen but at a later date, you can change the event to a future date and it will remain in the FarmMax file as a planned event. While in this screen, check the mob information is correct. You can adjust the draft selection and destination while in this screen. However, if you need to correct the date, quantities or weights, you will need to make these changes in your Cash Manager database. And we suggest you make a note of any transactions that need to be adjusted before going back into your Cash Manager database. Correct the transaction information in Cash Manager Rural, export the relevant month's transactions out of Cash Manager and re-import them into your FarmMax file. Transactions that haven't been altered in Cash Manager will remain unchanged in the mapping screen and transactions that have been corrected will now be flagged with an update status. Any updated transactions will now override the existing transactions and display the correct information. This is the end of our tutorial. If you would like more information on this facility or would like assistance, you can contact the FarmMax Help Desk and the Cash Manager Rural Help Desk on the details provided. If you have a query specific for either program, please contact the appropriate Help Desk.